I'm out here at my shed where I have solar power hooked up and there is a problem. It's not working. I think I know what the issue is. I have an Ampeak 1000 watt inverter and I left it on. Um, no power was being drawn from lights or receptacles, but just having that inverter on, I think drained the battery. So let's go over here and give it a test. I've got my multimeter here. Uh, so the Ampeak has an auto shut off somewhere around the 10 volt range, if I remember right. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to just touch the battery with this and see what we've got. So uh, let's see if I can get this. So you can see it too. Yeah. Yikes. Five volts. All right. So there's our problem. We need to pull this out, turn this off, uh, and charge that up at the car, I guess. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is just make sure I turn off this little switch right over here whenever I am not going to be using this for a couple of days. The, uh, we had some pretty serious cold weather and about five inches of snow and it sat on the panels for days and no power was made. So uh, I just continued to use the battery. So apparently the low battery shutoff is only going to work whenever the, um, the unit is pulling power, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's disconnect this, take it up to the car and charge it up for about 10 minutes. Let's see about getting this thing loosened up here. Uh, just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and shut these things off like that and solar from outside. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I gotta haul this heavy thing up to the car. Okay, all I could find was these little 12 gauge wire, so hopefully it's gonna work. We'll just plop the red one here and the black one there whenever I get the car cranked up and see what happens. Um, I can always just snap these clamps off if something starts to melt, but anyway, uh, man, five volts is way too low for this battery. But anyway, maybe it'll come back, we'll see. I tried hooking up these ends to the battery, but if you loosen up, that nut and that nut. Batter doesn't work the car. So anyway, I think we're good now. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess just clamp here. And hopefully we'll be able to charge this thing up. All right, I'm gonna give that about 10 minutes. Hopefully it'll get enough charge that the uh, solar will kick in. Okay, this battery's been charging for 15 minutes. We'll go ahead and uh, turn everything off. Let's see here. And we will see if uh, this was either a success or a $160 mistake. Okay, I've got everything off. Let's go ahead and hook this back up and see if we get some good results from it. Really love for this to work again. The sun is out enough that I think we'll get enough of a charge here if it will turn on. Ooh. Okay, so what I want to do is turn the battery on to the classic. That's a good sign. It's at least got enough of a charge to uh, turn that on. It says 12 volt at 11.6. Nice, okay. Uh, so now we can flip this and hopefully we'll see some numbers right here in just a moment. Gotta let it wait for a second or two here. Nice, that's a good sign. All right, we got 
280 or so, 275 coming in. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh, let that charge for a while. Uh, we've got this turned off, and I will keep it off until it's needed because that, I believe, is the culprit. That uh, still has some stuff being used, and it just pulled this battery down. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, that's good. The sun should be out for the next several hours. It's uh, 2 o'clock, so about three more hours we'll be getting... Uh, some sun and that will hopefully charge this back up Well, I'm glad that we at least figured out what was going on here that battery should charge up and uh, be back to normal uh, So with this issue we had I think what I'm going to do is Continue to use the off-grid solar, but I'm going to add a second battery over here and that will double my time but also, if I'm gonna be doing a pretty intense project out here, that's gonna need a lot of power or at least uh, a lot of light that lasts for a long time. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is add a little receptacle over here or a box that will allow me to have an extension cord that goes up to the house and I can just plug up here and run everything as needed. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I have to do that, um, we'll just have to see. Um, I may, I don't know, it may be worth just tying in a completely separate system that has just uh, enough to go up here and hit my uh, lights for filming and then maybe another receptacle over here somewhere uh, for using power tools. Just in case for some reason we've had several days of clouds and my battery is not fully charged. Anyway, thanks for watching, helping me troubleshoot this. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and troubleshooting with me. I'm glad everything is working as it should. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.